Today I got a quick video on how to connect your PS5 controller to your PC. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do it with your cable as well as your Bluetooth connection. If your PC supports Bluetooth, you can do either one. And without wasting any more time, let's jump into the video. What I'm going to do is take my USB-C cable from my PC and plug it into the controller. So just like so, plug it in. Once it's plugged in, you're good to go. Now, certain games are going to work right off the bat, like Warzone. I don't need any tools, any software to make it work. But what I'm going to do is show you what you need to get everything working 100% in every game. You can download this tool called DS4 Windows, and I'll leave a link in the description for you. And what it's going to do is it's going to recognize your DualSense controller. It's going to pop up your ID as well as the battery percentage and a selected profile. Usually it's on default. But what you're going to do is you're going to go to edit and just to make sure that your touchpad works properly, you can go to the touchpad tab, make sure it's on pass through and you're good. From there, that's basically it. The controller should work just like any other controller on PC and you should be ready to use your PS5 controller. If you want to connect it with Bluetooth, it's, a, it's still easy. I'm going to uh, close DS4 windows and disconnect my cable and I'm going to show you guys how to connect it. So what you're going to want to do on the controller is basically hold the PS button as well as the share button, which is on the top here. And once you hold it for three seconds, I believe it is your light on the controller should start blinking fast. You know, it's pretty hard to see in the light, but you see that flash and that's going to get the controller into pairing mode. Once the controller is in pairing mode, we'll go to Bluetooth settings on the PC search for Bluetooth and other devices, and then we'll click on add device, Bluetooth, and then pick our wireless controller. Should connect to it. You'll hear the sound and then hit done, but you're not done yet. So once it's connected, you're good to go there in that department, but you're gonna wanna open up DS4 windows and make sure it connects in there. And you'll see that I have it here. It's status is Bluetooth before it was cable, so wired. Once DS4 Windows recognizes it, you're good to go and you can play all your games. If you're worried about how fast the connection is through Bluetooth, you don't have to be worried. You click edit, you can go to the other tab and change the Bluetooth pull rate to one millisecond. You're gonna get the best response time like that and you shouldn't see an input lag at all. Thanks for watching the video. I hope I helped you connect your PS5 controller to your PC. If I did, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel and comment on the video if you have any questions or concerns.